it's Saturday morning here and that means laundry day for me. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to come online real quick and just talk to you about the toxin free lifestyle. So I've had a couple questions just on the backside, you know, private messages and stuff saying, you know, your oil thing, not really in your oil thing, you know, you, you do you, but hey, um, I'm really interested in your whole toxin free lifestyle. Why do you do it? Blah, 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 blah. So for me and my family, the reason why I do it is because I deal with some autoimmune conditions. And so, I, and your skin is your biggest immune system. Did you know that? It's your biggest organ. And so I need to make sure that what goes on my skin is is fresh. It's toxin free. Everything is a chemical. So a little science lesson here today. Everything is a chemical, including water, H2O, two hydrogen, one oxygen. Get it? So everything technically is a chemical. So I'm not saying that this stuff is chemical free. Everything is a chemical, but I will say it's toxin free, plant based, a hundred percent. I trust it because it doesn't have any of the additives like fragrances and phthalates and SLS and perfumes and dyes and all those things that my daughter actually loves. <laughs> it was funny because I had some old stuff here that I had given up a long time ago and I walked I walked through the outside in the backyard where our, our stuff was hanging up. We have a clothesline and it wasn't my stuff. It was all my daughter's laundry. I'm like, oh, what stinks? And she had used some old... um Oh, like, oh, here they are. I use them for an example, actually. These, uh, I call them flavor crystals. And that's what I was smelling in my backyard. Now, most people, including my daughter, would say, Oh, they smell so good. I love it. But to me, I have kind of honed my sense in to where it's not like it smells so good. Like that one commercial where he's got her scarf and he's like... <clears throat> Oh, smells good for 30 days. To me and my nose and my husband's nose, because we've gotten most of that stuff out of our house, it stinks. You can smell the chemical in it versus the freshness of an oil. So even if you don't do oils, that's fine. I don't want that stuff in my house. I don't want, in fact, I'm going to get rid of those crystals. I usually use them for an example, but now my daughter's trying to go back to using them. I don't even want them in my dryer, you know, because, you know, I have to put my laundry in after hers, not in my house. So I'm going to get rid of all of that today. But what do I use? Get to the point, Stacy. What do you use? All right. So I do use Steve's laundry detergent. So this is, um, it says six times ultra concentrated. Um, and that's completely true. In fact, I have a brand new one right here. And what I'm going to do is when this one is done, I'm going to turn this bottle into three. That's how super concentrated it is. The only thing I do is I add a little bit of baking soda. I use, um, oh, it's underneath my sink. I use a baking soda specifically for laundry use. It's got a little extra scrubbing power in it. And I also put in um, a cap of each, in each of these, of these household cleaner, because my husband really gets into the grease. He works on machines where he works. So um, anyway, that's why I like super power it, because his stuff is really greasy and really bad. So yeah, so I'm great. I get to turn that into that, and then I will show you. I've got a, a load here ready to go. This is how much I use, even though it's been broken up into three batches. So... Not much. I've got a little line on there. You probably can't see it now because I've used it so many times. So this is a little cap compared to those like big ones that I used to get when I went to Costco or Walmart or something like that. This is a pretty tiny cap. This is the equivalent of about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a fourth. So that's it. That's the only thing that's going to clean my clothes. And you might be going, what? That is crazy. It works. It completely works. When I wash Dan's load of laundry and it's just his and it's all nasty and greasy and it stinks everything, it comes out fine. Now, you're like, but I kind of like, I'm like Jillian. I like my stuff smelling good. Well, good. I have an answer for you too. So these washer scent crystals, these replace these. And in fact, I will tell you why this is so much better. Other than the fact it doesn't have the chemicals and the toxins and the perfumes. Because this is made with Epsom salt and baking soda. Our water, blah, 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 our water here is super hard. And so all I have to do is um, I've got three cups. I'll give you my recipe right now. Three cups of Epsom salt, 
to a, a fourth of a cup of baking soda. And you can use regular baking soda, but I, like I said, I use that laundry superpower baking soda. You can find it on Amazon. And then I also added in this one, I added um, lavender and peppermint because this stuff is coming back kind of stinky. So here's here's my good smell. And you can change the smell for this. I had a friend who, who when she made this at a make and take class with me, she put Christmas spirit in it just because it was that time of the year. So one tablespoon, that's all this is going to need. That's it. Start up the laundry and go. So it's very easy, very affordable, very economical, and so much better for your family. So you're asking, what do I do on the dryer end? Okay, a couple different things. So the first thing I do is I utilize a clothesline when I can, and then I put them in the dryer here and fluff them. So when I fluff them, I use these. These are wool dryer balls, and you can tell that they're, they've they been used and abused, but I put purification on them. So um, I like the small pur purification. You can use lemon or citrus or lime or whatever you want to kind of put a, another scent into it instead of those scented dryer sheets that are horribly and nasty for you. Um, so you can do that. Um, I also, when I, it was been raining the last couple days, so when I go straight from washer to dryer, I use these dryer sheets. These are homemade dryer sheets. So simple and easy to do. You use essential oil, you use vinegar and water, and a cut-up t-shirt. Boom. Done. The end. Yes. Very economical. I notice I'm running over. I am trying not to ramble too much. But it's super cheap. And if you have any questions, I would love to sit down with you. And we'll make all this together. I'll give you a sample of the, the Thieves Laundry Soap so you can see if it works for you and your family. Um, I would love to sit down with you and talk to you about toxin-free living. So just give me a holler. Have a great day. Be blessed.